Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Jana, and if you don't know me, you may know me one day. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I wanted to film a little makeup routine, makeup tutorial for y'all because I asked my Instagram a couple days ago, what are some videos that you would like to see me upload on YouTube? And I got a lot of makeup routine, makeup tutorial, same thing, but like get ready with me. Um, vlogs, talking videos, life advice, but the most requested video was a makeup tutorial, so here it is. I hope you guys enjoy, and if you follow along and like do your own makeup with it, I think that's so cool. Maybe like post it on Instagram and tag me, because I'm definitely going to see it, obviously. I hope you guys enjoy. If you can't tell the difference from this video and my last video, I actually got a microphone, and I'm really hoping it's working well. Also, do you guys like my robe? Look how cute she is. Don't mind my nail, it freaking fell off. But if I get big on here, I'm gonna make robe merch. I feel like that's really different. Nobody steal that. If you're gonna call me catfish, just don't do too much, please. Anyways, let's do some makeup therapy. I always tell this to everybody. Um, base is such an important step. One of the products I've been using for base is the Advanced Nail 96 Mucin Power Essence. And if you haven't seen this, it's been very popular on social media. Um, but it has that very slimy texture. Sorry, that's so bad. But yeah, I just put that all over my face. Oh my god. This is the sunscreen I use. Um, it does have a little bit of a tint to it. I think it evens out my skin tone a lot. And by the way, I've posted a lot of TikTok like makeup tutorials. Because everyone's always asking for it and I'm really bad at doing makeup tutorials. But I might as well post one here. Oh my god, that looks so bad right now. <laughs> I promise you it gets better. <laughs> I let that sit for a little bit and then I go in with the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I don't know if you can see that. My biggest inspiration for my makeup routine and the products I use is Kensington. If you don't know who Kensington is, you may know her as Ken's Nation. And obviously I love Monet McMichael, like come on now. Oh my god, my, my nail looks so crispy. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade and it has the little waterproof pencil in it. And then they have this pen tip that I really like using just to draw on like fake eyebrow hairs because God knows he didn't give me that many. I just, I honestly start at the front. For brow gel, I'm using the 24 hour brow setter. Oh, there's a really funny story actually. Um, I tried to do my own eyelash extensions, like individual eyelash extensions on myself. But it didn't occur to me how, like, bad it would hurt. Yeah. This is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. It's in the shade 6W. And I really like this one because it's not super full coverage. I think it's just right for me. And I love it. Put that on my face. Honestly, not sure if that even did anything to me right now because of the sunscreen. Mentally, it did something, so... I'm looking very pale right now, so let's add some contour. So all my makeup products have so much makeup around them because I'm so lazy to clean it. I recently just started using the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. This is in the shade Fair Medium for everyone that's asking on my TikTok. That's right there. No, this is my jawline. This is how I blend my contour. I already mentioned it on a TikTok, but watch. So I blend it up into my hairline. Then the rest, I blend down. It gives like a snatched, a snatched look. Like my face is chubby, but I look like I have cheekbones right now. I got a big ass forehead. I love all my big forehead girlies. Yeah, I've been obsessed with this product. Um, this is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil. I've been using this literally every day. And I put that like right over my contour. I just think it's so cute. I'm actually running out of this concealer, but I'm taking the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer in the shade Vanilla Swirl. I 
feel like Huda Beauty has really great products as well. Um, they're definitely in my top brands right now, as well as obviously Makeup by Mario and House Labs. I, I've been loving House Labs. Lady Gaga was one of the first ever music artists I've ever listened to in my life. Um, when I was living in the Philippines, if you didn't know that, I lived in the Philippines for like six years. For my under eyes, for this specific makeup look, I went in with a NARS concealer. I think this is in the shade medium 1.5 macadamia. I think it's just closer to my skin color because I usually use like a really bright concealer. And then I'm using the Rare Beauty concealer brush to kind of just pack that in. I basically just pat the concealer in place and then spread it out a little bit into my blush. It kind of creating that ombre effect. This might be a really weird order, but after I do my concealer, I go in with a Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Dark. Also for contour, I feel like you can go a little bit darker than your shade just because I think it causes you to use less product and I think you can get your money's worth a lot more. But with the darker shade of contour, I kind of just blend that in into the center of my first contour line. Same thing right here. So you're basically creating illusions. And then I use this Giorgio Armani um, concealer. This is the Luminous, Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade 4.75. I literally just add a tiny dot, like right here. Let that sit for a little bit. And then again, just like kind of patting that into the corner of my eyes. I think the NARS and the Luminous Silk Concealer creates this perfect mix of dewy and matte so that your under eyes don't crease as much. Don't take my word for it, honestly. But I almost forgot to show you this step because this is one of the most important ones. Right before I use setting powder, I use the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. It makes my makeup stay on really long. I'm gonna be using two different setting powders today. I'm gonna be using my go-to, which is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose translucent loose setting powder in the shade translucent that's still a tongue twister to me so what i do with this is basically take like a small amount and i usually like dab it on my hand before i put it on like so um and my biggest like problem areas is probably like my smile lines right here so i add a lot more to those areas <laughs> Excuse me. And then I go in with the Makeup Forever setting powder. It's wait, is that upside down? This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder. It's in the shade 2.0 Banana, Jana Banana. I take a little bit more of that, and then I apply it very directly onto the corner of my eyes. Well, more like the center of my face. And then I also like to put a lot right here. Again, like my big problem areas also don't leave my setting powder on for that long if you prefer to i mean do you but usually i don't and i just kind of brush it off with a big brush throughout my makeup i usually like touch up little things like my eyebrows just to see if they can look better honestly for nose contour i use the dior forever natural bronze it's in the shade amber bronze we have hit pan guys and this is what i do for my nose contour i honestly just take like any random brush what i like to do is not go all the way down but like kind of focus more on the tip of my nose and then drag it up a little bit but not all the way over the blush i still do use the dior backstage um, powder blush in the shade pink. You can definitely find another product that's cheaper and probably better than this one. And then I just put that over the Makeup by Mario blush. And I don't know, it's really cute. And then for eye makeup, this is probably like my favorite step because I think it does change, change up the whole look. 
I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for my nose contour. I cannot find my contour one for some reason. <sighs> I'm gonna go crazy. Um, but usually I take a brush and I put that on my eyelids, but I can't. I can't. Let us compromise. I'm gonna take the Dior bronzer and put that all over my eyes. And I'm blending that into where I put my nose contour. And then I'm going to go in with another Makeup by Mario product. This is his brand new Master Mattes, the Neutrals eyeshadow palette. These are the shades I've been using, if you can't tell already. Then I take this brush. It's kind of like an angled brush. I'm going to take this shade right here. He has like the names on the back of the palette, so that's pretty cool. There is some fallout when you kind of... Put the your brush into it and but for some reason it like I don't get fallout when I put it on so I guess that's a good sign and then I take this even smaller brush I went with this with this shade this dark brown shade I feel like this is kind of a crucial step in the eye makeup so what i do with this pen is follow the line of my lower lash line and kind of go up do a little wing while like blending that in with my finger i also feel like it just gives me a lot of depth in my in my eyes if that makes sense hopefully that makes sense and you can tell i'm not like shooting for accuracy right now okay like this is the the time that you can be messy with it. This is a very light pen and it's not like eyeliner. But yeah, you can just be messy with it. So this is the eyeliner I use. It's kind of old now, but it's the NYX Epic Wear eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. It's the waterproof one. I also only use like waterproof eyeliner and mascara because Girl, again, not everyone's preference at all, but it's okay. Just like follow that line. Just like that. Bear with me. So after that step, I kind of judge whether or not my eyeshadow is dark enough. And right now I don't think it is. <laughs> so what I do is Take my other small brush. I go in with the same dark brown shade right there where I put that dot. I kind of just drag it out a little bit and then in towards the center of my eyelid. Again, you don't have to do this. Oh, that might be a little too dark. Not a little, a lot too dark, oh my gosh. And then do the same thing on the other side. Now I go in with mascara and I'm just gonna curl my lashes regularly. My butt hurts from sitting here. And then this is the mascara I've been using. Honestly, I liked it when I first started using it, but now I feel like, I don't know if they changed anything about the formula, but I feel like it's different and it doesn't, look as good as when I first started using it. I don't know if that's just my, like a me problem, but for mascara, this is what I do. I brush them the direction I want them to go and sort of just clump them the way I want them to. So that's like a little layer. Don't come at me, but I actually recurl my lashes after I do my mascara. Um, but make sure to let that dry because I know a lot of people are like, you're gonna pull your eyelashes out. We're gonna add a little, what is it called? A little inner corner wing. Is that what it's called? I don't really know. I'm just taking my little pen. This is why I love the Urban Decay Brow Blade because I can, I use this pen tip for so many things during my makeup routine. Um, again, lightly line my inner corner. And then I drag that kind of the middle of my eye and then I do the same thing on the other side. I think that looks pretty good, right? 
I mean, y'all tell me, how does it look? I think it looks so good. Okay, this is my last step for my face before I do my lips, but I do take the Dior bronzer again and another, another brush, and I kind of just go over my contour, like, lightly, and then I take a little bit of that and then put it in the middle of my face. And I usually, like, I didn't do this before, but for that look, I think it did make a difference. And then just drag that down as well. Put it on my nose, my forehead. I think that looks pretty good. I don't know. Wait, my makeup actually looks so good right now. Hold up, hold up. Let's do the lips. I'm gonna line my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the shade, mm, I think this is Foxy Brown. Yeah, Foxy Brown. I don't know, cause literally all the label is like coming off. You see that like white line around my lips? So that's where I usually line my lips because it is still like a part of it. It's just, there's just not as much pigment there. You know what I'm saying? So if you have that white line, you can just line it like that. I love this lipstick from Makeup by Mario. It's in the shade Brielle. And I just put a tiny bit in the middle, kind of like dabbing it on. We're almost done, but I think the only thing I should maybe add is some highlighter. Um, I have this House Labs one, and then I just bought this one from Makeup by Mario. I think, let's switch it up, and let's go with the House Labs one, since I've been using Makeup by Mario basically this whole entire video. But this is what she looks like. So cute. This is the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter in the shade Sunstone. So for this look, I didn't really put it on my cheeks. Um, I just kind of put it in my brow bone, maybe a little bit on my inner corner as well. Guys, I think I kind of, I think I ate. Sorry, this is the very last step. Okay, now I'm good. Do you think I'm cute? <laughs> so far, throughout this filming, the camera has died twice. That sucks, but if you like this video, please subscribe. And if you want to see more of me, I post a lot on my Instagram and my TikTok. I'm trying to post more on my Instagram, but I do post a lot on TikTok. If you guys try out my makeup tutorial, please post it somewhere. Maybe tag me. I don't know. I think that would be like really cute and cool or whatever. But... Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, hopefully next week, as soon as possible, I don't know.